Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach them and rule all who taught us this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth of Brisco and Elijah from the four corners of the earth. We are the brothers of Great Millstone Toronto. We are again, once, once again, week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of this wicked queendom, America the Great, Babylon the Great, aka Sodom and Gomorrah, aka Nineveh. AKA Egypt, right? And, and repentance to the to, to, and good news, the gospel to the to the Israelites. Israel being a people before its fall, place. Man. Uh, God, Second Ezra five verse one. Cool. Nevertheless, so cool. as nevertheless as coming into the nevertheless as coming the token, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great day shall come that they that dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number. The Lord, the Lord's visiting in this place steadily, right? We're gonna see, we're gonna see the death tolls start to, start to increase. Go ahead. Behold, it said, nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden. The way of truth shall be hidden, right? And we see this, we see this wicked, we see this wicked diabolical madman. Right, the red man, the beast man, the base man of the earth, right, trying to suppress truth, right, and it's a matter of time, only a matter of time before the spirit will be put on him by the Lord Yahweh Shai to turn this internet thing on, to turn this access to information, right. And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith, barren of faith, right, non believers, right. Look at Jake out here nowadays. Once upon a time, there's no such thing as Jake being an atheist, right? That's a regular thing now, man. Jake no belief, Jake in the Buddha, the Serapis crystals, right? Jake saying he's a witch, a warlock, a Wiccan. These are things that were unheard of once upon a time, right? And Jacob's blessing his spirit, right? Go ahead. And but iniquity shall shall increase above all that which, but iniquity shall be increased above that which now. Thou seest, mm -hmm. or that thou hast heard long ago. Right, look at this place, how wicked it's become, man. It's, 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 it's degenerate. Nothing but de degeneracy, man. If, if, if you're in the spirit of staying here and continuing, forwarding in this in this kingdom, forwarding, uh, you, you have a 10 year plan, a five year plan. You know, I'm gonna buy this and flip this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold some uh, some precious metals and get some, and get some bricks and mortar. You're in the wrong spirit. This place is wicked. You, you could be a mo, you, you could be a transformer, a drag racer, right? And if you speak out against it, you're vilified. Go ahead. Uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Right. And a gift destroyeth the heart. Oppression maketh a wise man mad, right? That's why there, there's a scripture that says, uh, 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 rough paraphrasing, uh, doth scare smile a little, right? We're not a hunter, which we're, we're not happy to be in this place. If you're happy to be here, you're in the wrong spirit. The only time we smile as men of the Lord in this truth, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we're that number, is when we're amongst the brotherhood when we see each other. Other than that, other than that, people in the world are always asking you, like, well, how come you're so serious, man? How come mm -hmm. you're so serious? Something different about you. You, you never, you never, you, you, you're not engaging. That's what they like to say. Right. more story. Right. Yeah, let me have a story. I'm quoted. Go ahead. Sirach 2120. A fool lifts up his voice. After. Right. But a wise man does scare smile a little. Right. A wise man does scare smile a little, right? Because uh, the scriptures also say, with much wisdom cometh great sorrow. Mm -hmm. Right? And fools, only fools out here, folly is set in great dignity. It's only fools out here, people without the oil, without the knowledge, without the Holy Spirit, that are out here in, in folly and mirth and happy folks. Yep, go ahead. That's yes, on that. Yep. Um, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, surely oppression makes a wise man mad and a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing that begin better is the, the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. The patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Right? Patience, uh, uh, the, 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 the ability to suffer and long and long endure. Right? Go ahead. Looking for that scripture that says that a man shall be known by his uh, gates. I'm, I'm going on, uh, on Google. It's not here. Um, yeah, 
that Sarah or Ecclesiastes uh, 19 and 30, a man's attire and excess an excessive laughter and yeah. gait right. show it what he is. What he is, right. You all here laughing, right? Mary, right? Expensive, sure. expensive clothing and you're just married, you got it all. You 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 your your consolation is on this side. Right? right? Yeah, Soraka 19 and some one into the hand. Soraka 19. A man's uh, attire and excessive laughter and gait show up what it is. Uh, verse 20. It says, um, The fear of the Lord is, be, is, is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is. is in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotence. Right, the fear of the Lord is in all wisdom, man. Right? The, the, the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of his truth. Right? And how do we receive that knowledge? Through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai being the light. Right? So we're gonna Sorry. be a the men of the Lord are gonna be in a different spirit. Right? They're gonna display they're gonna despise this place, they're gonna hate it. Right? Scriptures say they love not their lives unto death. Right? They're not gonna be engaged in this place. Right, they're going to be looking for the signs of the prophecy, measuring the time diligently. Right, we're looking for and hastening the coming of our Lord. That's the mindset of a man of the Lord, the elect. You are willing for that number, right? Uh, please, Ezekiel 91. He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause, it's a, cause them that have charged over the city to draw near, even every man with his, with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came forth from the uh, higher gates. Six men came forth from the higher gates. This is going into angels, right? And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gates, which, which lie toward the north, and every man a slaughtering weapon right. in his hand. These are angels once again, right? And one man and one man among them was clothed with linen and with a rider's inkhorn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. And the glory of Yahweh of Israel was, <coughs> was gone up from, from the cherubim. Whereupon he was, like he was three score of the house and he called and called to the man clothed with linen. Right, so the Lord Yahweh Shem is called it to his angel, right? Go ahead. Yeah, and, said that, and, the, and the glory of, of the power of Israel was gone up from the cherubim, whereupon he, he was, and, and the three score of the, the socket, and the, to the threshold of the house, and he called, the man clothed with linen, with a hat which had the rider's inkhorn by his side, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead. Right. So the Lord given instruction to this one angel, right, to go through the house of Israel. Israel being a people for it's a place. You so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro. Inspect the bird. Inspect the bird. Set a mark. Mark in the Hebrew is Tawa, which means exempt from judgment. And the Lord said, right, because, because there's another mark like for people that's going to get the see him. Right? And like that's a whole different mark. Right? And the Lord said unto them, Go ye through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and that cry. For all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right, set a mark on them that sigh and that cry. And who sigh and crying in, the, in, in this wicked, filthy, uh, uh, degenerate place? The elect, right? It's a spiritual mark, the wa, right? Mark of exemption, right? So it's only the elect that are going to be marked with this mark, right? Go ahead. And to the others, he said in mine hearing, right? To the other angels, here's what you do, with the, here's what I want you to do. Go ahead. And to the others, he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Smite, kill, destroy. Right? Go ahead. And let not your eye spare, 
neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. Old and, and young, both maids and little children. So th these angels aren't going to partial, man. Right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about your status. It doesn't matter if you're a woman. It doesn't matter if you're, uh, you're in good with Esau, Edom. The, the angel said, oh, slay utterly old women, men and women and children. Go ahead. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, right. and women. Woman. He said woman twice. And there's right now, there's a lot of death. Like there's a woman, I think, in Newmarket mm -hmm. and, and like East Willembury who, who got killed. Right. All right. So right. there's a lot of judgment upon these women. Right. Man. Upon these women, man. They said women twice, maids and women. Right? They utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Right, come not upon any man upon whom is the mark, the mark of exemption. Right, Lord willing, we have that number. Right. And he came at my sanctuary. Then right, those that know, those that know this, this truth, this knowledge. Right, go ahead. Then they began at, at the ancient men which were before the house, right? So like the guys in purple, who was not, who, who, like, who was not even going into the, basically like what's going in, into the whole, uh, whole transhumanism, right. right? Like with the whole mark of the beast. Right. These people are, uh, are scoffing, mm -hmm. all right? Because they're compromised, right? right. And he said unto, unto, unto them, the father the house, and filled the courts with the slain. Go ye forth, and they went forth and slew in the city. So right. we know we, we know that 2024, man, that 2024 is gonna be a lot more judgment man. because yeah, because this year bad and it's getting bad. Right. You know, homeless people on the street, right. everywhere. Like there's somebody who has their pillow right there. Yeah. You know, so yeah. shit, shit's getting real, man. Tent cities. Tent cities. Right. People losing their homes. Right, and this is all. This is all an instrument that Esau is going to use to ultimately bring in the UBI. That's what. Right, which will ultimately go into the grain of rice, Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. Mm -hmm. But they got to bring the order out of chaos. Mm -hmm. That's right. <clears throat> Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my what? people the words of prophecy, right, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. This message is for the house of Israel. Israelites, Israel being a beautiful force of place. The message for other nations is a destruction, subjection. Right? And and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the infidelity of them trouble thee that let, speak against thee. Let not the infidelity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Going to this word infidelity, it's unbelief. Right? So we're not supposed to care. See that you get it or you don't. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either you get it or you out. don't. Either you receive this message or you don't receive it. Right? Either you understand that the name of the Lord is Yahweh is sitting outside. Right? And he's coming to melt this place with lasers and missiles. Or you don't. Every, every, everybody's laughing at the prophets. Of, you know, yep. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so right. we're going into the history. Right. And they're saying, oh, like this is not going to happen. But it's just going to actually happen. It's happening right now. <clears throat> That's right. And he said, and he caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and not the imagination against thee. Let not the infidelity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You, you wicked two third Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Right? If you don't repent, guess what? You're going to eat a missile. Mm -hmm. You're going to take the sea hip. You're going to get ravished by Esau or some, some prisoner pumpkin suit wearing a. Prison, uh, Jake. Sure. Right? You're gonna get. You're gonna get. Sure. This is what's coming. You're gonna end up in a FEMA camp, an internment camp. So you know, see kangaroo. Right. Kangaroo will run up and down. That's soon be a lion. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Right. Well, boss, the boss is out here. <laughs> and, um, all the under. Behold, except the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword. Right. Plagues upon the world. world. Death right. and destruction. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. This is how the Lord gets down. This is how he operates. Even right now, was, uh, a couple of days ago, there was, I think, for the, like one of the fruits. Yeah. Of the, of the, of the, of the cantaloupe. The cantaloupe, yeah. Right? Some and that people 
people are dying, mm -hmm. right? But it's all orchestrated by the by the Elamites. Right, that's, right. that's right. Because they're the mad scientists. <laughs> that's, that's, they're, uh, because they're using uh, the, 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 the whole GMO, uh, you know, like they're splicing all the different genes. So behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, right. for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole. Right, and this is why the Lord's bringing these things, man, because of the wickedness. This place, it needs to be purged. Yeah. Uh, uh, the fire. Right. The whole earth and their hurtful words are fulfilled. Therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more. Right, the Lord's about to let loose. Right, go ahead. They profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me. Right, cry unto me. Right, once again, we read the scripture, those that sigh and that cry. Right, also in the spirit world, you have men of the Lord that died in the truth. We're in the spirit world, they're complaining. Lord, how much longer? Right, I'll, I'll visit this place. Go ahead. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And therefore, said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood. Right. Oh, so the Lord, the Lord's going to avenge this place, man. The scripture said the Lord is not a man that he should lie. The real Avengers. Right. That's right. Did you, did you watch those Marvel movies? Mm -hmm. right. That's Jake. The Thanos. Yep. You know, and he had all the stones. Yeah, yeah, all the stones. All the precious yeah. stones. Yeah, yeah Thanos. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, man. <laughs> that one's when. This is at Genesis chapter 4, verse uh, 9. The point will be in verse 10. I'm going into the point of uh, the just crime, right? The blood. So, uh, Genesis chapter 4, verse 9. And Yahweh said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not, am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Exactly. Someone grab uh, Luke 18 and 7. Just to back up what it's saying. Sighing and crying, as well as this, the, 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 the men of the Lord in the spirit world. They're crying and crying to the Lord, saying, Hey, Lord, you know, well, not hey, Lord, you know, they're coming in reverence. But Lord, Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, melt this place. Right? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Right? When the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Right? The, the, only, one, the only one that are going to be in possession of faith are the elect. Slanging, gangster street ripping. That's not Tyrone. gonna cut it. Yeah. Like Tyrone, right? Chad and Tyrone. That's right. right? It says, "Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and right? years. You careless daughters, you Marias and you Keishas. Right? <laughs> Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless woman, for the vintage shall fail. The vintage shall fail. The job benefits. You have proud. You have proud two third uh, Eve out here, mm -hmm. she's pushing her own condo key. She have a, she have a, a, a whip, a beamer, yeah, with leather like, interior. Yeah, well, it's like, what are they doing? Right. right. It's like they're selling themselves online. Right. Right. They're selling their soul. Right. Hungry fans. You know, but, but um, it's like basically, like, there's a lot of, uh, like, a lot of these uh, women are just getting abducted. Right. right. Yeah. Right. So, it, it's, you know, we know that 2024, there's going to be a lot of women abducted and being 
ship to uh, fucking uh, Saudi Arabia or like wherever, man. Yep, that's yeah. right. That's right. Uh, uh, sex slave. Sex slave. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, this is Proverbs 16 and 1. The preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord Yahweh. That's right. All the ways of a, a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord Yahweh with the spirits. Mm -hmm. Commit thy works unto the Lord Yahweh, mm -hmm. and thy thoughts shall be established. Mm -hmm. yeah, lead upon the Lord. Right? In all thy ways, I, I acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Right? The Lord Yahweh hath made all things for himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even the wicked. Even the wicked. Right, so the Lord's, or, the Lord's the orchestrator and controller of all things. Right, you have these wacky tacky buggo, Pastor Porkchop, Bishop Sausage, uh, 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 <laughs> House preachers talking about, uh, 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 there's this mystical Satan who's, who, who, who's, con who's controlling and doing his own thing. He answers to the Lord. Right? It says, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh. Right, the Lord hates pride, man. Sure. The Lord, the Lord frowns upon pride. Right? No hand join him. He shall not be unpunished. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord Yahweh, men depart from evil. That's right. That's right. You come in this truth. You come. You, you come in this truth. That old man gets left behind. Man. Mm -hmm. You can't bring the old man into this truth. It's impossible to straddle the fence, and the spirit will seek you out. Yeah. When a man's ways please the Lord Yahweh, making even his enemies to be at peace with him. Yeah, that's right, man. Because sometimes you be you, you, you're in your walk in life, and certain things just catch you. We know we're going to catch hell. Did the scripture tell you we're going to catch hell? But the Lord will always make certain certain things fall into place. And sometimes you, you got to go to uh, Amalek or Esau, who's got to make a decision on, 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 on your behalf. It has not, it's not even in your power. But the Lord will make a work out for you. Go ahead. He says, He makes even his enemies to be at peace with you. Better is a little with righteousness than great. Revenues without right. Right. Better to little with righteousness than great revenues without right. Right. It's better to be. It's, it's better to be humble and, and, and have your daily bread and what the Lord provides than to have mountains of riches, man. Gotten more, more times gotten by deceit. God. Right. Blood. Right. That's right. That's sacrifice. That's right. But look what's going on right now with them so-called stars. You know, yeah. Rosie Ross, mm -hmm. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did it. You know, Done. You did it. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, yeah, that's his name, right? We sleep. We sleep sound at night, man. I, mean, I, I know he ain't have no, no good sleep because every 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 other day, drugs. Somebody is saying he did something. It. something. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. You have to do a lot of drugs and just totally like worship Satan. Yeah, no, he, he's not sleeping tonight, you're right. He he, and he's saying who's going to come next. Yeah. Going back to the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Right. I'll, I'll, like, we have what we have, but we have this truth. The man's the joker. Right? <laughs> Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is, 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 um, is reverenced by us. Mm -hmm. So he gives us some, some peace. That man don't reverence the Lord. Right? When I say I, I love God and I'll praise God, he ain't talking about the same power of the radio world. Right. Like at a both side is against all the kind of behaviors, man. Mm -hmm. What God did with fucking Jay-Z and uh, that, that, that stupid song. Your God is Satan. Like up, up here, we're, we're, dealing with, the devil. we're dealing with, with a zero tolerance for lies. That's what it's all about. A zero tolerance for lies. So if you ain't coming with the truth, And there are some affiliates that preach the same doctrine. Outside of this, 
the, 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 what, what you see here is for gazing, man. It's pseudo. All right? Different. All right? So we're just here reverencing the, the Father, the Son, and the Prophets, man. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, we don't have what the, you know, you know, and, and, and yeah, we're, 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 we're get kind of too. We like nice things, right? We see nice cars going down and, and girls with big booty and, and nice places. But you know what? This ain't our rest, man. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's a comfort in scripture. Second right. Thessalonians 4 and 8, 18, 18 it says, I'm comfort each other with, with these words. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite scriptures, man. Right? Because when I go into it, when I feel down, right? And I watch a video and I see some, some precepts. I'm like, you know what? We have something glamorous and glorious to look forward to, man. Real stuff. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes, this is uh, my dear brother. Psalm 37 and 16. A little that a righteous man had is better than the riches of many wicked. That's right. right. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in evil time. In the days of famine they shall be satisfied, but the wicked shall perish. And the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. Right? Well, they say, it's saying a lot right, saying a lot right there, man. They say the right. arms of the wicked shall be broken. So, you know, you have a simple reason or a simple jig will read that and think it means a person who did them wrong, that person's arms going to be broken. That's some parabolic thoughts, and the Lord is calling the, 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 the wicked a whole nation of people, man. Right? right? And two thirds of people two-thirds of our people have joined on to them right but the arm of the wicked is their might military might mostly men that's their right. police force right even even if they control our food that's their that's their arm right right the arm is basically there to, to, to guide you right and push an exterior in, in, in different, different ways so that the arm can be many things right so it's such power gun right so, so it doesn't it doesn't mean i mean the arm is going to be broken Hey, you, have, you have those mad science men, right? Those those, those Bible verses with a candle. That means ours be broken, right? And then they'll put some, some buzzer on, 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 on a brother, on a brother of his. Wicked man. Well, Esau is an arms dealer, right? He sells sure. all his weapons Done. and stuff like that. It's, right? So that, like you said, it's going into his military, everything, man. But Esau has weaponized a lot of things on the earth, man. Like I said, sure. food, even clothes, man. Clothes. Right? Drugs. Yeah. So there's no escape from He's this Cain. devil, man. The air we breathe. That's right, right man. Yeah, his name, uh, Cain is, just means weapon, man. Right? Mm -hmm. The water you drink. Yeah, yeah. It, was this, yeah, yeah. it was this brother that told us to buy the shower head because the shower was giving us rashes, man. Right? Yeah. Just taking a fucking shower. Yeah. 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 They know that they're going to pay because Yahweh Shino Shai is going to destroy them, especially if it's a jade. They know, P. Diddy knows that. He knows he's going to die a miserable death. He ain't going to come greater in the kingdom. He's going to be lower. He knows all that. I'm also Oh, I got two and 
content strategy and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a short even with a sore destruction and if a man walketh in the spirit and and the falsehood do, sorry if a man walketh in the spirit and falsehood do lie saying i will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink and he shall even and he shall even be of his people and that's what our people is doing our people are, our people are doing all kind of different uh bug dog doctrine like the guys in purple right? and they're doing all kinds of wickedness Save you from the, the hell of this the, the curses, right? The hell that your enemies are gonna put upon you, right? That uh, Esau Edom, the arms dealer, is gonna put upon you, man. Okay? A million ways to die, man, out here, man. You know? You, you can die by just driving your vehicle, man. It's, it's, it's crazy out here because these people really have spirits on them, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, the elect. We pray that to the Heavenly Father, man. Lord will win those men so we can be protected out here. Because we're in the, like the brother said, we're in the valley of the shadow of death, man. Right? Oh, you have a Yeah, yeah. I have two, actually. Uh, Luke chapter 12, verse 13. What will be made in verse 15? And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. And, yeah. that, and that's, 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 a, that's, Esau's made up this thing where it's all about your status. What's your net worth? You know? So people walk around not feeling fulfilled because they're not measuring up to how, 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 how the system is designed. That's right. About what you have. Right. Mm -hmm. What you've gathered. Right. You know, the true riches are our are, are, are spiritual wealth. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because even now, you got people, they have like YouTube channels, Instagram, whatever the pages, they walk up to people, oh, what do you do for a living? You know? Oh, I'm doing this, I make this X amount of money a year. You know, I make 500000 a year, blah, blah, blah. Right? That's, that's, all the, that's all the world, though. That's proud, man. And even, even when we meet with quote, unquote, new people, like, one of the first things they want to know is, oh, what do you do for a living? Or what do you do? You know, and then I, I live, I survive, I handle my business, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is, you know? People are, are too caught up on bullshit, man, because you can lose your job. How about that? Right? You, you guys really put trust in these things, man. You, you're going to lose, you can lose these things at any moment, man. You, you got to act a certain way out of the job. You can't be yourself, right? You got to go by the way of Esau Edom's ways, man. Especially with the alphabet mafia right now. Right, right. You got to tolerate the, place, the, the yes. sodomites. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, laugh with them, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? You got to be cordial, right? This is your part of your job. Or else you're going to lose your, the way you make um food, man. Mm -hmm. You know? You, you saw a turnaround and tell you that you're, you're making your co-workers feel unsafe. This is a safe space. <laughs> right, right? The cubicle. Your co-worker doesn't feel safe anymore. I'm sorry, we got to let you go, John. Right? <laughs> Say you might speak loud. That's just how you speak, yeah. right? They they'll take it as oh you were yelling at me there yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Especially you if know? you have a beard, like they yeah. want you to shave your beard. Offended. You know you gotta you raise yourself in this yeah. wicked ass place, yeah. man. Yeah. Pussy ass society. Yeah. You no, know? this place is weak, man. Hey, this is uh, Revelation two and nine. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. That's right, man. I was going into the Israelites, man. Okay? The Lord knows that. Okay? The whole earth is ours. That's a spiritual gift right there, man. It hasn't manifested yet, but it's going to translate in, when we get to the kingdom, man. Go ahead, on. That was oh, that was a point. I got one. This is Mark chapter 8, verse uh, 36. And it says, uh, actually, I'll start at verse uh, 35. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save him. That's right. That's so, it's mandatory. You got to take that. Uh, take that in order to keep your job. 
that job, man. And rely on the spirit. Right? You gotta remember they plan on uh, because they plan on crashing the whole stock market and basically like what they're gonna do is there's gonna be a whole bunch of confusion. So everything's gonna be like everything's gonna be coming at once. The solution is like they're gonna um, like you won't be able to have cash mm -hmm. or anything. Part of the condition of agreement is that you must get a uh, vaccinations if it's in your soul. And it yeah. already happened, uh, right? Because, because like a lot of people already got the thing in their in their arm, right? right? And uh, and well, you, a lot of people is, is dead or are sick. You know, it's, it's always getting sick. In, um, in, like over Montreal and Toronto, man, because it is disgusting. Man. This is wickedness. Yeah, yeah. But, so, so, yeah, yeah. so, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. And that also goes in with your daily bread, because that's what you're supposed to get, and you're supposed to be content with that. And a lot of people fail to read Everybody can be a billionaire. First of all, to be a millionaire and a billionaire, that's a lot of power that you have. And a lot of people don't understand what power is. That's why a lot of people get that money and then they go broke or they go on drugs and they spend their money because they don't know how to use it. So the Lord is teaching us how to be rich by giving us this word and being content with what we have. Right? And that's why a lot of men follow the truth because they don't really understand that. Right? This is preparing you to inherit all things under Yahweh Bashim and Rashad. That's right. right. So you you denying the things in this world, there's greater things to come. That's how you gotta see it. There's a reward, right? And sometimes when you invest in a business, you're not gonna always reap the benefits in the beginning. You reap the benefits later. Right? That's right. Uh, verse 36. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever, therefore, shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. Of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh. Because, look, 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 um, like, look at guys like Kanye West. He has to sacrifice his mom. Right? And, 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 like, all these, all, like, all these entertainers have to do all the sort of sacrifices. And it's, it's, it's nasty, man. They're, they're, they're gonna get passed around, right? and, and nobody asks. You know what I mean? Like so, all of them down. Denzel Washington, you know, bro, was, was a hard problem. I remember, you know, my, my mom was all head over heels, you know. But well, I saw he's a good looking mm. and handsome. handsome yeah. You know. <laughs> and, 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 and they meant they meant taking dick, man. You know, because they think called casting couch. Look all it up. Google, Google casting couch and see what happens to them. Right. So none of them, you know, Hello Cool J with all the muscles, mm -hmm. you know, being passed around. Yeah. It's sickening. Every single last one of them. Hey, this is uh, Matthew 19 at 27. Yeah. Then Peter said unto him, this is the NLT. Peter said unto him, we've given up everything to follow you. Yes. Mm -hmm. How shall I reply? I assure you that when the world is made new, and the Son of Man sits upon his glorious throne, you who have been my followers will also sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel, and everyone has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or fathers, or mothers, or children, or property, for my sake will receive a hundred times as much in return, and will inherit Life. Yeah, I remember that there's a guy that like, was a part of this camp. That was like 2009, correct? He came in and went uh, to one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the man, uh, man the, build a house. Yeah, the man was going to go build a house in God. <laughs> correct? And he, and he left. Because he started to get, he got a ticket. He got 
Chicken though, yeah, right? You just eat it. Just, just eat it and say, you know what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah like yeah, even like to buy like, like, uh, like even in the kingdom that we're gonna have proper utensils, you know, the proper cups, you know, copper, gold, silver, you know, because you, like you can't even buy like a, uh, you know, certain um, certain certain utensils and uh, cups and shit. Yeah, it's always so expensive. In the movie The Matrix, there was a guy, he's eating a steak, he's cutting it up. He's like, I know this is not real, but, you know? He was going through the motions, right? Yeah, but he got compromised. Right. But he sold, because he, uh, like, he sat down with Adrian Smith. But even the cups we drink from, I don't know if my brother posted it, they're saying, yeah, what, what, what basically keeps it from leaking out is the same stuff as Drano. So you mm. pour hot stuff in there, that stuff melts. So you're drinking basically Drano, right? So over time, that's why you better get big. You know, you're, you're doing sit-ups. You know, you're eating good. You can't get it because you can come from the, the cups, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Because oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's supposed to be porous. Yes. Right? And they put that, that the chemical, the same thing that, 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 um, that make up to Drano. And then when you, when you heat it up, it breaks down. Mm. And that's what you get from your belly. Yep. Uh, the man's, the man's killing us 24 seconds. 24 yeah. seconds. Uh, second, uh, first, uh, Isaiah 41. It's a comfort. It's a comfort ye, my people, except the Lord power. Speak, uh, speak comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her. And that's deal with the elect. All right. We speak comfortable to each other. We have the two thirds, man. Right? Because we know they're not gonna get it. The Lord said that they will not listen. They will not hear you. Okay? But it doesn't mean we, get, we, we learn the truth and, and, and hush. No, because we know there's men out there that sign and cry that's, that's desiring and deserving of this truth. Right? If, if that was the case, I wouldn't know the truth. If men, if the apostle kept it quiet, yo, I wouldn't know the truth. And, yeah, I'd be out doing some some kind of some kind of nigger shit, man. Mm -hmm. Right? So this comforting is is, is is for is for that remnant, right? Go ahead. Speak comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished and her and her iniquity is is pardoned. That's right. So all her sins, right? Because we're we're predestined based on Ephesians, I think it's, it's one uh, um, verse five. Like your men that was predestined to get this truth, right? To be set aside. Okay, so it, it, it's not based on our well, you know, well to do or, or good doings, right? That, that, you know, that we're here. It's the Lord, man, right? And we're hopefully that the way it was meant. Because like the brother said earlier on, uh, the brother fell out of the truth and we thought the brother was, was, was one of us. We thought it was, you know, was part of the body. But as time goes on, it proves, no, it wasn't, that wasn't it. Yeah, mm -hmm. because certain brothers or like certain guys that fell out are, are, are like some of our, uh, like close like family or friends from that we knew in the world and it's scary man. You know? so the lord um is the lord's only coming for his uh elect right? but it's already invested it says uh speak speak comfortably to jerusalem and cry unto her 
that her warfare is accomplished. That her warfare is the battle with the flesh. Right? You know, you say, hey, done with them the lineups, man. Done with them with them, them pork. Right? And, and, and the pork, you know, the, the, the law says that, 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 that King David wanna be, right? <laughs> the craft dinner. Yep. Whatever his name is. He says KD, I come craft dinner, man. Yeah. Right? Because a big fat greasy man. Yeah. He stopped. He, he's that, that, that the line when the prison knocked down says, Don't touch it, don't eat it. That right there would have been the whole video. Don't touch it, don't eat it. Right? So it shows that that guy is a, a, is a damn agent of chaos. Right? And he's going to lead a, a lot of people to the damn destruction, to hell. Correct? A lot, a lot of destruction. Well, well, he was he was speaking not according, according to the word, right? So he's speaking not according to the word because of enlightenment, right? So that's that. Yeah, it's parasitic. It's yeah. To speak comfortably to Jerusalem, inquire unto her that her work is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord. Sorry, sorry, for she hath received for the Lord hand double for her sins voice of him that cried in the wilderness prepare that prepare ye and make the, the make straight in the desert of the highway for our power right, so that's uh you know like that's uh, based like Abba Bivens right because basically uh in the in the 60s or 50s there's a man called Rabbi Abba Bivens and basically uh he was a part of the commandment keepers, but basically, like based on the commandment keepers, were just going through the Old Testament. And basically, uh, in the Bible of Bibbins, he went into the New Testament, right? And basically, uh, he separated himself, and he, like, he established that church, uh, like over Harlem, right? Uh, like known as the One Western Church. And basically, uh, like that's how, uh, like we believe that he. He's Abba, I mean, he's like, he's, uh, like Elijah the prophet, right? Because that's, I think, in Micah, um, Micah 4, I guess, 4, yeah, it could go ahead. Uh, Micah 4, verse 5, behold, I will send you the prophet before the coming of the great and just. So we're in that time, right? But basically, during that time, with um, like um, the whole thing, you know, the whole, uh, the whole um, Cuba Missile Crisis and stuff, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that was brewing up, right? but it wasn't that time, and then Kennedy, like he got assassinated, and basically like we're World War Three, because we're basically Anything could happen next year. Right? So uh, things is, is brewing up. Right? Verse 6 And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers. Yeah. Abba Bivens, and, uh, or Elder Arya and stuff. Uh, he was going into, uh, like, he made the same. Basically, basically get Alba Bivens and then you had Ari Young. And then basically Ari Young, like he basically he went into Psalm, he went into uh, went to 49 and basically he went into the history, right? So like basically that's why we believe that Judah is, is the so-called Negroes, right? Who were uh, basically, uh, you know, in the cargo slave ships and so on and so on, Ishakar, the Mexicans, right? So all this was set up. That's in Ezekiel 37, right, of the dry bones, right, but the dry bones is, is being awakened, right, so, uh, so, yeah. lest I come and smite the earth with a curse, yeah, yeah, um, again, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel uh, 37, right, it says, the hand of the Lord, Ezekiel 37 and 1, the hand of the Lord was upon me and cried me, 
sorry, and carry me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which is full of bones. The people are in the are, are people are, 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 are completely destroyed. Man. And basically, um, will keep reading and cause them to be written in paper for they are to be written. So cause them so cause me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very sick and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and I, and I answered O Lord power thou knowest uh, and again he said unto me to prophesy upon upon these bones and say unto them O you dry bones hear the words of the Lord like, you know that song right in like the, in the, in the, in the 30s or 40s, right, which were uh, so far new, they were going into like, the valley. And, so basically, it's like, it's, it's like a new show. It's like to hear the word of the Lord. So basically, now, so now that like, like now, like, like the dry bones is being, uh, is being awakened, right? Um, uh, verse 11. said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, the word of the Lord, thus said the Lord power unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, and I will I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cause your, and cover you with skin, and put breath into you, and ye shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. So we're living, man. All right. We know who we are now because we're lost, man. We're like Neo and the game. We're like searching, but, we, but it's like, like basically, like we didn't know, like, like we didn't know, like what was going on in this world. Right. And basically, but now we're living now. All right. Because we're, because now like we got our nationality back. You know. But every, because our whole. Our heritage it was, it was <coughs> stolen from us, man. Genesis 2 and 7, And the Lord Yahweh formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Okay, you know, going into us having the spirit of Yahweh, Shai, man. Last, it's man. It's embedded in us, operating on the earth. Okay? Yeah. So without that, you're at peace. Zombie fact. Right. Lisa made, made a whole franchise of movie calls Night the Living Dead or The Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Yeah. Right. Well, I, 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 I have just one verse. The book of Revelation 11 and 8. And, and, right. yeah, and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets <laughs> of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom mm -hmm. and Egypt. Right? And, and this is totally Egypt and Sodom. Right? Sure. And it's getting. It's, it's basically, we live in a. Like a pansexual society, yeah. Which is people you could be because they reverence pan, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pan is like a, a man that he does whatever, yeah. He has beard, breasts, what do you put? There's a whole bunch of fucking spirits, man. So, this place is wicked, man. This well, place well, needs well, to burn. They're trying to put um, black woman <laughs> as a face of, of order, yeah, right. And 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 we ain't, we ain't going to it and look deeper. You can't tap Lisa's woman. You can't my woman. You can't can't tap her. Like if you Google um, Lisa Lisa Sparks, like S P A R X X Sparks, that hoe did 990 men in mm. 12 hours, man. Right. Yeah. 45 yeah. second apart. Good, right? Mm. And I, I got a net worth. The net worth is two million dollars from them times to now. Two million. Mm. At least that red, sexy red, got two million contract. Uh, you know, like, like she's dirty, right? But that damn eating my woman, nothing top 919 men. And the thing, it, 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 was, a, it was a sex off. Mm -hmm. so it wasn't her, it was other women trying to beat her. And she won. It was a sex goal. God, so every every year in Poland, they have this. Sex goal. Look it up. Yeah, sex goal. Lisa Sparks, the champion, 919 men. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know? <laughs> Alright, so, so yeah, so, so, so even though, you know, they're trying to, trying to like, on, on, on the low put, um, um, the, the black woman as, 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 a, as a mother of harlots can't tap Esau. Yeah, because remember, <laughs> these white women, yo, remember that the snowflake or these, the, the snow bunnies, these, uh, these white women, right? So called. Because right, you're not white, you're fucking really red. Right? And basically, like, they're the ones that, um, during the time of the medieval times, like, we taught them how to fucking bathe. Because these people were just wild, man. They're known as the wild, as the wild men. Alright? And they were very low. Alright? And that they only probably showered maybe once in a year. And they were fucking filthy, man. And they're still filthy. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, so when you fucking lay down a white bitch or a nigga bitch, right? yeah, you, like you have to be careful, man, right? because these bitches have these things. It's dangerous. Out there. It's not, it's not a good. But so right now, there's uh, especially now because of uh, because right now, like Jake is 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 lusting for the fucking uh, snowflakes, or right? for the snow bunnies, right? And, and like and they're and they're fucking spreading a bunch of disease, man. right? So it's like so you really have to be like you really have to just stay in the spirit, right? I mean, it's, it's real, man. But I added on to what the brother was bringing up because you know you can whatever on a low level deal with white women. You don't need much game to deal with white women. Right? They'll just be like that. So even with a black woman, you still got to rap to her a little bit more. You know? Like, though, I remember, you know? I remember, like I was dealing with a, a white snowflake. So bunny like years back. I dealt with it. I'm like, I smell like her. I'm like, well, because yo, because they have a different smell, eh? Or not a smell, but yo, these fucking white women are are different. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's like, it's like really, that like really, like they're not wrong to that have a, a fucking white woman or a snow bunny, but. Oh, Gotta be very mindful. <laughs> yeah, I know how to preach it. Yeah, come on. So there's a book of First uh, Peter two verse um, seven verse five it says, "We also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai Mashiach." As going to you know those dead bodies that were raised up for the Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, behold, I lay to Zion a chief a lot precious, and, the, and he that liveth a day to a a founder. So the fact that that's one of the first time in the black days. foundation of the church. So in the scripture holding up the candlesticks which really represent the churches. This is Nahum 13 and 23. And in those days also I Jews sorry and I don't also saw I Jews that had married wives of Mo of Ash of Ashad, Ashad, of Ahmed and Moab, right? so the Japanese, uh, and, uh, the Chinese, right? fucking uh, Jake that that were because they're a bunch of not you know, like, like they're not around to have a concubine or whatever. But basically, like 
like um, if you're if you're like you start to um, like you start to follow their custom, you start to get married, and, um, you start to worship their <laughs> gods, and their I, them idols, you man. You, you can't be doing that. And then their ch and uh, and their children speak half in the speech of the Ash Ashad and could not speak in the Jews language but according to the language of each people and I and I continue well, that's one in the, also the customs because if, if you date a, a, a heathen woman best believe that she's going to be one doing you know yeah. what she's used to mm -hmm. you know talk about Merry Christmas right and Happy New Year and all that madness so if, if you got seed with them you gotta, you gotta, you know, be over your, over, over your seat and, and, and let them know what's up, right? So yeah, that, that ain't the way to go, right? And he really, truly, like, a tooth a nigga, like, he's cool with it, man. But a man of the Lord, he's gonna say, yo, this is what it is, mm -hmm. and, 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 and I right. ain't budget, right? So, so you think what you want to think, and, and you do you, but leave my seat out of it. Yeah, like, you might have, like, a, like, a, because remember, Jake, too. It, 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 it mingle with the damn Chinese and Japanese. They're eating all kind of unclean shit. They're eating dogs, cats, rats. All right, so it, it's, it's serious, man. All right? These people are heathen, man. It's a, it's a, it says for all the gods of the nations are idols, man. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to civilize these, these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. exactly, right? and, um, and their children speak half in the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the true language but according to the language of each people and I and I continue with them and curse them and attend with them so basically the fight the song, man. you know <laughs> fight so what are you guys doing because that was in, in Genesis in the beginning uh, the son of God went into the daughters of men right so that, that that's also a part of you know it, 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 history repeats itself man nothing mm -hmm. more than son nothing. right so there's men in the truth who have heathen and the woman, but once you're in the truth, you know, your, your mind have a different way of seeing things. And she knows that don't even try that shit, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, like you yeah, put your foot down. And if you ain't put your foot down, you're not, you're not in the truth, right? You're compromised. Yeah, because there's certain guys that, right? that fell out too. Right? All right who, like who was out, out probably a couple months ago, that's gone. She would know, like, and you know what? She, she, if you can do it, do it anyways. Because you, 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 you can't be 24 7. But she's, she knows your stance, like, 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 like what it is, right? And and and, 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 she, and she fuck herself. You say, you know what I mean? You just say, hey, move up. <laughs> and I will continue with them and curse them and smoke certain of them and plucked off. You're here. But we ain't doing that right now. We, 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 no, we, 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 we ain't fighting nobody. Fucking the fucking out our ear and say, listen, these are the laws, statute of commandments. Live by them or die. Mm -hmm. That's right. And made right. them swear by by Yahweh, saying, You shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto unto your sons. Because it, 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 it's better. And, and, and what it is, they're worshiping other gods. So there's nothing wrong with it. Right? It's just that they're gonna teach them other other way of li like the, 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 the wrong way. But mm -hmm. they don't know what's right, right? They don't got a truth. Okay, but but, but it's nothing. It's not a sin to do with another another a heathen. Like Jake, never like uh, on the nation never saw is that woman, right? Isaac and Rebecca was an Israelite. Because you had, uh, yeah, because you had Hagar. There's more people no. different. A uh, woman, you know, right? like who weren't, who, like who weren't of, uh, of the seed of uh, Abraham. Right? Like, so it's like, so we always were, uh, like we were always mingling with these other uh, nations, right? or like these other women. Well, there's brothers of the truth that are that, that are what Esau called half, but we know they ain't, they ain't nothing on half of You are where your father is, man. Right? So there's brothers of the truth who came from a, from an even mother. Doesn't make him a less of an Israelite than, than us. No. Hold on. It said, did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet among many nations was there no kingdom like 
king. So even King Solomon, he had uh, well, he had several hundred uh, wives, and three hundred concubines. All right. His, his mom was a heathen. Yeah. All right. So he he, he had uh, he had many women. All right, but basically when he started went off, he was started going into their culture and their idols, and that, that's why. Uh, like when, like when he came as like when he came back of the Hawashai in the reincarnation, you know, like he, uh, you know, he fasted the forty feet, like he was like he was catching help, like and he wasn't dealing with no woman, because he, he, because he knew what he did in his past life. Just one quick point too, just going into the topic of the brothers are going into about uh, our people who are even especially the read read up. Age, um, you see that in today's world, in the sports world, especially basketball, football, you know, a lot of these athletes are raising up their kids that way and giving them Greek names. Because back then it was the same thing, because you had a lot of our people putting their children into the games and going into the Greek customs. Also, you see a lot of gener generational masons coming up. Like, for example, go into the show The Little Rascals, because that's really teaching you about Freemasonry, because it's about a man, a man, a man. A man club, that's what it's going into, a no woman club. That actually goes into masonry, masonry and it shows you that masonry is really generational, mm -hmm. right? So a lot of a lot of these uh, these jakes who are in masonry, they're actually grooming their kids to actually become masons for the next generation, right? So that is that, a lot of that stuff is going on in Israel today. Yeah, the line for the uh, the kids of masonry is named after Demo Lake. Right? And when you research them a little, it goes back to one of the, uh, what do they call it? Oh my gosh. He died on, uh, he died on Friday the 13th, but he was one of the, uh, he also used to work for the Catholic Church. What are they us? Black Pope or uh, no, no, yeah, well, the Black Hand? Or? Before that time, man, for them, that group, what's that group called that turned on, turned on the Mosai? They turned their back on the Mosai? They used to work for the Catholic Church and collect all the finances? The Jesuits? Uh, before the Jesuits. The Jesuits got their knowledge from them. Templars? The Knights Templars. 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 Judges 14 and 1. And Samson went down to Timnath and saw a woman in Timnath of the daughters of the Philistines. And he came up and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in Timnath of the daughters of the Philistines. Now therefore get her for me to wife. Then his father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughters of thy brethren, or among all my people? That yeah, that's, that's a typical uh, black woman, man. Yeah. You know, we bring a thing. You can't find a black woman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because remember, those Canaanite women are, are fine, too. You know, look back in that time and still. Well, um, he went out, you know, like basically, like um, Samson, he basically, you know, he's like he had a mission, right? But, uh, but when you read about Samson, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but, yeah, 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 no, but yeah, but I'm seeing that like, when you watch that, like, when you learn, like, when you read about you know, Samson, basically, he, uh, you know, like, he got deceived because basically he used, he basically, basically, like he gave like the woman the power, right? And because he, he lost was, his hair, he, was old. he, he was lost old. his strength. Yeah, he was old. Yeah, he wasn't old. Like, like, you mean Samson? No, he wasn't. Oh, not Samson. Yeah. yeah. King Solomon. Yeah. King Solomon was mm -hmm. old. Yeah. Right. But Samson had a preference, you know. Like, like, and brother, some brothers are just like more by girls. Mm -hmm. And brother, in truth, in order that they're very diligent, all they like is more by women, right? And his brothers are just, they're just like Israelite women. Some brother. Ethiopian or God, yeah. Somalia. God. And some men like Hermes. Right? <laughs> the Apostle Rafa always say, you know what? Eat a man with him. 
Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm tired of the, the, the black slut the bitch, man. Black bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of that. Right, that's it. Well, well, certain, certain brothers have to have a Well, yeah, yeah, the brother, it's like, the brother, that got kicked out. Oh, yeah. New York, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what? What? Dressed up. Yeah, 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 because I remember there's a guy in our camp, but he, uh, he ended up dying because uh, like one of the brothers, he's not in the camp, but he said basically the guy, he was sleeping with trannies or some shit, and he got, he, uh, Then his father and mother said unto him, Is there never among all my people that thou goest to the sea? And Samson said unto his father, well, and that shows that his mother was in a righteous because you know these people have hedonistic ways, man. They're unclean, you know? Yeah, and they do all kinds of different occult type rituals and shit. And, and like the Mando magic or the magic and all kind of different shit. You know, those uh, damn Canaanites are still doing. Not only that, that lesson showed you that uh, Delilah, she turned into a spy because she ended up pillow talking and getting a secret and then he ended up losing it. So it tells you also the woman that you lay with is actually really against you. So yeah, it could be a heathen, but that could be Eve too. Eve could yeah. easily do that against you. Yeah. I remember Samson, he, uh, he killed uh, a thousand men. He, he killed a thousand people with uh, the jawbone of an of a, of a axe, of a donkey. Man. He killed only for those damn Philistines. <laughs> and, and Samson said unto his father, Get her for me, for she pleases me well. But his father and his mother knew not that it was of the Lord, Yahweh, that he sought an occasion against the Philistines, for at that time, the Philistines had dominion over Israel. So, the Most High had put the spirit on Samson to go after the woman, all right? Because he wanted to start up a controversy, man, right? amongst the um, Philistines that would have dominion over us, man. You know, he wants to start some shit, start some shit up, you know? I have a precept, bro. Uh, Two and one, and Joshua the son of Nun sent all the Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho, even sorry, and they went and came into into an harley house named Rahab and lodged there, and it and it was told, <laughs> it was told the king Jericho, saying, Behold, there were men in Hither to night on the children, sorry, and it came and it was told that the king of Jericho saying, Behold, there were coming in Hither to, to night of the children of Israel to search out the country. So that's what we're doing, man. All right, because it's like we're in a, uh, like we're in a foreign yeah. country. Yeah. Yeah. So so, yeah, so like we know what's going on, like we know what's going on. You know, in this world, man. Right. And it's fucking dark. Alright, but like, like you have to use the world. Yeah. Yeah. And the king and it shall and it was told the king of Jericho saying, Behold, there came men in hither tonight of the children of Israel to search up the country. And the went sorry, and and the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab saying, Behold, fourth Rahab, suck it, suck it. I have to have my glasses, suck it. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men here are come to me, which are entered into, into thine house, for they be come to 
searched out all the country. And the woman took the two men and hid them, and said, un said thus, There came men unto me, but I wist not where, wherein they were. And it came to pass about, about the time of the shutting of the gates, when it was dark, that the men went out whither that and it said the men went I would not it said pursue after the quickly for uh, for uh, for ye shall overtake them but she had brought that but she had brought them up to the roof of the house and hid them with uh, st uh, stocks of flax which which she had laid upon she had laid in order upon the roof so basically uh, going in. the men of the men pursued after them the way to Jordan unto the fort and as soon as they which as soon as they which that pursued after them were gone out they shut the gates and, be, and before they were laid down she came up unto them upon the roof and she said unto them, and she said unto, unto me, she said unto me, right? Like you can read the whole chapter, but basically, um, for how the harlot, you know, like she was delivered, right? Because basically, she, um, you know, she basically, um, like, based, like she got shelter. Basically, Jake, because basically, um, what's it mean? about Joshua, right? Like Joshua, he basically, uh, he, like he said, the two men had to go spy off the land, and basically, uh, like he killed out the, um, uh, the people in the in, in, in the town in Jericho. Right? When you read about that, uh, Jeremiah. I mean, it's like when you read about, uh, what do you call it? In uh, Joshua, right? Joshua, uh, I think, six? Yeah, it showed that she demonstrated faith too, because yeah. she actually believed in the Lord. Because uh, she said that I know what happened uh, when you guys came out of Egypt. You made the world tremble with your yes. God. So you're like, okay, I don't want to mess with you. So you know what? I'll give you guys uh, uh, safety. I'll give you guys amnesty here if you just uh, leave me out of your quarrel with that city. That's that's what that's what went on. But it showed that she had faith and she believed. In yeah, the so, yeah. So yeah. So that, yeah. Because even when you read about Ruth, Ruth was the actual Moabite. But she was, um, you know, like she was, like read that story about um, Ruth, right? But uh, Isaiah 4 and 1, and in that day seven, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by the name to take away our reproach. We're, like, we're approaching these times, man, because right now things is getting um, like for these, uh, like, like for these women out here, all right, and uh, you know, things is getting very, uh, you know, like very, man. all right, and, um, and like when the whole mark of the beast, like, system will be implemented, right, like, because basically, right now, there's a lot of a lot of um, a lot of things is happening right now, man, a lot of homelessness, a lot, a lot of a lot of confusion right now, man, in uh, Canada and America, man. Right. And, the, and, and all over the world, you can do things. I got on to what the person is saying too, because the, the women of today, they pretty much have everything um, pretty much in the society except for protection. They have Esau's protection, but when Esau's protection is going to be gone, that's what they're going to need. That's why they're, they're saying, okay, we're not going to worry about food, clothing, and shelter, but they already have these things. But they're going to need, still need a man to protect them. Man, from, from the beginning of time, has always represented um, a safe place, man. A, a, a place of fortitude and security, man. a sense of security. Man. You know? And that's why in this society, they've done a great job of um, be basically belittling um, what a man is. Mm -hmm. Like when you walk in the room, you should just already get respect because you're a man. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? But the, in this society, they have taken that away. Man. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread 
and wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name to take away our approval. This is how you gotta prove why you're the man. You know what I mean? Why you're the guy or blah, blah, blah. You know? Go ahead. And it's all precipitated by money. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because what are you people gonna do when you know when the money goes to shit, huh? When the dollar crashes, all right? You, you know what are you people gonna do then? You can't be proud in that day, right? And in that day, in that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautified. I'm gonna get uh, Isaiah uh, three, Isaiah three and fifteen verse sixteen. All right, it says, "Who the woman denounced?" Right? It says uh, Isaiah three and sixteen. Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughter of Zion and are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes and uh, walking and making and taking and making a, like a tingle to your feet, therefore the Lord will the Lord will smite with the scab the crown of the head mm -hmm. of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will like a, like a lot of our women, right? Our uh, uh, jewel of mm -hmm. Benjamin, right? Are no, no. Kind of like they're always uh, like perming their hair, or they have to do all kinds of shit to their hair, man. Do you like, drink so your car? Sick. When they take off their damn hair hat or their. Uh, Even though, like, they have to sell themselves for a living, all right, all right now things is getting rough. So a lot of these, a lot of these, these whores are selling themselves, mm -hmm. all right, because things is getting rough. So they have their sugar dad or like whatever. They do not, they do what they, do what they could do. They do what they gotta do. They do things for work. So there's gonna be a lot of um. That's gonna be saved. You know, for it to obtain carnal riches like a Louis bag and mm -hmm. all, the Lord not dealing with you, man. Mm -hmm. All right, if you're doing what you got to do, you know, then the Lord will have mercy on you, man. Yeah, because look at Mary Mandolin, right? So it's like, it's like so there are harlots, but who are uh, like who are doing that that stuff on the left hand side but if they're trying to repent or whatever the, the Lord will have mercy on them. Right. Some you know whatever, I don't know. Why already they got up in the some women got touched at the young age they've been the mind been gone from, from young. You know? Yeah, because yeah, they, they got their dad probably yeah. him or their uncle you know? or whatever. Or brother, you know, cousin. Yeah. Uncle, you know, all type of crazy shit, man. Well, you have to at it like yourself, right? When you were in the world, you were a whore. The right. most high looked at us like a whore. Right. So the right. women are a whore. Right. Right. It's just depending on the, the mindset. Uh, that's right, that's right. It's like retro down there. Second answer 16, verse and 31. The, the, the main word is repentance. That's if right. they repent, they have a chance. That's right. That's the beauty of this gospel, man. Right? Because it's for all. I mean, for the Israelites, obviously, but you know. The Lord not discriminate. He is discriminate, but at the same time, there's still um, what's that word? Mercy. Man. Yeah, and then it says it says that our righteousness is our it, it is as filthy rags. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. So we're not. I, yeah, I mean, I know I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not holy. I'm not. I'm a, I'm a sinner. We're all sinners. Right. Second Ezra 16 verse 31. Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses 
with the sword, and the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel therethrough. The, vir the virgin shall mourn, having no bridegroom. Hey, like when you go into, when you go to Nova Scotia, right? The daughters are turned on to the game by their own father. Men pick their own women, yep. and then they end up pimping their own children. Mm -hmm. So that okay. lifestyle is put upon Scotian women. Right. So the sin is really upon the man or the father, right? If she grew up like that, she, she was a little girl. Her mom was being pimped by her dad, and then when she grows up, her dad pimps her. Then her mindset, she's all fucked. Now she could be so damaged that the Most High casts her aside, but she could be so so righteous that the most high can forgive her just because she never had that 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 um that healing before yeah because these women because that's why a lot of them go on drugs that's who we're here for we're here for the fatherless Broken hearted. that's who we're here for we're not here for the people that think that they're the shit we're here for the people that are broken right they're broken spiritually you can see it inside of a lot of people man. Mm -hmm. they're broken. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn having no husband. Mm -hmm. Like when the brother did the video on the uh, homosexuals that went to go check the boat. Those are broken people. They went there for assistance. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he gave them bread. <coughs> they didn't need bread in the form of food. They needed bread in the form of the word. They needed healing. And they needed a, a spiritual exorcism. They need those demons off of them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helper. In the wars shall their bridegroom be destroyed. And it says that knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of your time. What's going to be the currency then? What's going to be your shield and buckler then? It's going to be your knowledge. <laughs> it's not going to be the man with the gun, right? Not. A weapon, a weapon will come in handy in those times, but the bullets are going to end up running out. So what are you going to have when it when it all runs out, right? That You're going to have to have that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That mark of the law, right? Because the knowledge and wisdom and understanding was what got you women who never took the joke here. So mm -hmm. that that's one level. So yep. which whichever one of you women listened to a brother, that brother protected you. So. You women who listen to the next round of the Squid Game, which is going to be, <laughs> yeah. Squid Game. Two, um, which is going to see here, mm -hmm. then that's another level that you just passed. But that protection never came from strength. That can, protection came from knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from Yahweh Shemel Shai. That only a man has. You women don't have this. The brother sat here and told us from the 70s, no, from the 60s to the 70s to the 80s, those were all men. Abba Bivens, uh, 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 Masha, the elder apostles, on down. We never heard you women do anything. What were you women doing? What happened? You guys are this great, intelligent people. How did you deliver them? How did you deliver us out of spiritual captivity? You guys never delivered out of spiritual captivity. So that's why you guys should not be debating with no woman about the truth. They never delivered you. That's right. A lot of you guys are sitting down there. You guys are listening to women teach up about the Bible. They, did, they, did they open this, the book of the seven seals? Oh. Fuck. Second, uh, second, John 12 and 1. Then Yahweh Shai, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which which had been dead, whom, her, whom he raised from the dead. So the Lord mm. raised Lazarus, right? Big time. Remember, Big time. I remember that was here, Big Lazarus, time. <laughs> that the rich man was like Lazarus. Right? It says, it says, there, it says, there they made the, the supper, and Martha served, and Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Then took Mary a pound of ointment and like and spinkered it says very costly and anointed the feet of Yahweh Shai and wiped his feet with her hair and 
the house was filled with the odor. Sorry, and the and the um and the the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Right? Then, right? So the so basically like on Mary, on that she like she washed like the Lord's feet. Right? And you know, like she had long hair. So basically, she uh because she knew who the Lord was. Basically, like there's gonna be a lot of women who were uh, involved in certain types of life or whatever, but you know, like you have to just repent. Right? Hey, and she's yeah. and she's more righteous than a lot of you women who are who are trying to teach because she knew her place. Did she ask the Lord, "Hey, can I become one of your disciples?" No, she didn't. She stayed in a woman's place. She was a servant. She's like, "Okay, well, I can serve this man in this way. I can wash his feet." If he allowed her to, she would have came and cleaned up. She would have cooked. She would have did everything, everything a woman should do. That's how a wo you woman should be coming. When you women are on TV talking about the Bible, or you, hey, can I teach? Hey, can I do this? No, that's not the place. That's the woman's place. It's called a helpmate. And it's a great job. You know why it's a great job? Because it, it assists the man. It frees him up to do more. Nowadays, you all, all these men on the side, they cook, they clean. That wastes their time come home from work, you just did eight, nine hours, you have to cook, you have to clean, what the fuck? Now, you, now you're tired, you can't, you don't have time to even make a lesson. <laughs> you should have come home and everything should already be done. Then took Mary a pound of ointment and a, and a spit and spike nard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Yahweh Shai and wiped his feet with her hair and the house filled with the odor of the ointment. Then said one of his disciples. Yeah, very costly. You, you, I ain't doing nothing for, for no man that don't do nothing for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she, <laughs> she just did it. She just did it. She served the Lord. She just, he never did nothing for her at that point. So she just came and she just did something. She proved herself. She proved that she was a woman. Go ahead. Then said one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which which should betray him, which uh, which was not. It said, why was not this ointment sold for three? Given to the door. This he said, not that he carried for the sorry, not that he uh, cared for the poor. But because he was a thief and had a bag and this man was a jealous of Yahweh Shai man. And the thief, he wanted the, the glory to be so about him. So you see, he said it was because he came for the poor. Right? But 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 to the unlearned, say he was just you know he, he, he was worried about the people outside now. It says he was a thief, man. Yeah, it's like it's like that movie that they're bringing yeah. from um, and give it to the poor this he said not not that he cared for the poor but a thief and had the bag and bared what was put therein then said Yahweh let her alone so he, he won the money right he said so he's, 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 he's a man that uh, he's a control of money you know about the offerings and thing and he wants to dip into it yeah because maybe <laughs> yeah because maybe he slept with Mary so he was jealous who knows? Right on. But basically, you know, 
But um, let it says, then said Yahushua, let her alone against the day of my journey. Have she, have she kept this for the it said, for the poor always ye have with you, but me ye have not always. Much people of the Jews there, therefore knew that he was there. And they came not for Yahweh Shai, see, only, but that they uh, might Lazarus also. Yeah, like, that's pretty much This is um, uh, Sirach 13 and uh, 24 GNT. There is nothing wrong with being rich. If you, if you haven't sinned to get that way, but there is nothing sinful about being poor either. Only the ungodly think so. They didn't want to wait, right? You have to wait on the riches and the, and the glory for these things to, um, to come through, man. Because if you rush, if you rush it, all right, problems are gonna occur, man. You know? Right. So remember, like it says, to wait upon me until I rise. That's right. So if you, if you go and break rank, man, you're you're sitting, man. You know? Kind of rush it. You don't jump the gun or whatever. You're sitting, man. According to the scripture. That was it or not? Yeah, um, this is Zephaniah 3 and 8. Behold, therefore, saith, it said, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I will rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nation that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour, a, pour upon them my indignation even on my fierce anger hey and that weight is just prophecies that's all that weight is it's not an actual weight that's why you need to take yourself out that's of it yeah. you can't be a narcissist as a man thinking that this truth surrounds you right. this truth surrounds you. Right. Right. it's watching prophecy unfold that's all that it is in whatever time that you're in right during the time of the dark ages prophecy had to unfold in the time of the Romans, prophecy had to unfold. In the time of the Greeks, prophecy had to unfold. And now in the time of the, 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 the revival, prophecy has to unfold. Which was the third woe and the um and the karagma, which is one of the most important prophecies that are gonna come to pass, right? Which is gonna be the karagma, because never in the history of mankind did um did any um any ruler attempt to do anything like this. This is like the building of the Tower of Babel all over again. That's right. Therefore, wait upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that and I that's rise. That's how you know that this place is going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Because like it said in the Tower of Babel, if we allow them to do this, nothing will be hid from them. So it's going to be the same thing. If you, you lock every human being in with that thing in their body. That, that's just complete wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. you, you don't give a man all that type of power, man. That's God level power. That power is God is God level. You could never give an evil man that type of that type of power because what he wants to do is already eradicate eight billion people. Go ahead. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. Yeah, you're just waiting on prophecy. That's it. So it has nothing to do with you. Oh, now I joined the truth. Okay, now shit has to start happening. No, <laughs> you're just waiting on prophecy like every every other prophet was. Man. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. Yeah, and gathering the nations is talking about them uh, um, turning their, their plowshares into swords. Right? You're already waiting for the plowshares to be, you're already waiting for the swords to be turned into plowshares. But we're in the time of the plowshares turning into swords. You're rushing. You gotta wait, man. You gotta wait for these heathens to kill themselves. Go ahead. 
to pour upon them my fierce indignation. Hey, and that's a very that's that that's a major major prophecy, man, because it says the Most High is going to turn into dust. <coughs> right? It's going it says that there was an innumerable multitude, and then in the split second there was just the smell of smoke and dust. So you you're trying to take away the heavenly Father's fun. How are you gonna take away his fun? So pour upon them my my indignation, even all my fierce anger. Exactly, which is the chariots, all them chariots, and his new body. His fierce anger is coming from a new body mm -hmm. with power that we've never seen before. Right? It's not just about the missiles. The missiles is gonna be incredible because we've never seen power like that before. We see when they do their little test runs and a nuke goes off, but with all the nukes going off simultaneously on this side of the earth, on that side of the earth, and they're just boom, boom, boom. That's incredible, man. Go ahead. For all the earth shall be, for all the earth shall be fire on my jealousy. There you go. Right? So the earth has to be devoured because that's the only way to cleanse. Because you, we, firstly starting with the elect and then the whole nation of Israel, you're going to be so righteous, <coughs> you can't just come into a world that's filthy. The most I have to clean up the world for you because you're going to be perfect. He's going to be perfect. How is he going to establish his throne in a place that was just named Pink City? Mm -hmm. That doesn't even make any sense. You Edomites were just laying here sleeping with dogs. You're doing animal sacrifice, and then he's going to kick you out and just take over mm -hmm. and sleep in the same building. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even want to see the same trees. That's right. He doesn't even want to see the same grass. Mm -hmm. The same grass you Edomites walked on, the heavenly, the, the son of the heavenly father doesn't even want to walk on that. He wants new grass. That's right. He wants new trees. He wants a new ocean. He wants new rivers, new lakes, just because you dirty ass white people defiled our, our property. Right. For then will I turn to the people of pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. And that comes with rulership, man, because to have a language, what's the official language of the world? It's English. Mm -hmm. So the official language of the world is set by the ruler. Who's ever in rule sets the official language. That's right. So the official language is going to be the last one, Kodash. That's what's mm -hmm. going to be the official language of the world. Mm -hmm. And nobody else can speak another language. That's right. There won't be any other language. You won't go to Bangladesh and they're speaking whatever the fuck they speak. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah 34 and 1. Come near, ye nation, to hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein. Yeah, that's right. And what you don't have to hear, you have to hear the law. There's right. a law that has already been established from the beginning of the earth. All you people did was push it aside. All you're doing it through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai is bringing it back. That's right. That's how we're going to rule. So you people already know how we're going to rule. It's not like we're going to get in rulership right. and we're going to be like, Uno reverse. No. We're going to get in rulership and we're going to be like, oh fuck. These motherfuckers, when they get in rulership, they're going to kill homosexuals. Mm -hmm. They're going to kill pedophiles. They're going right. to kill this. They're going to, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. You women are already going to know that you can't be whores. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't want us to rule. You, we know right. why you don't want right. us to rule. That's right. Because you already know what our kingdom is going to be like. Our kingdom is not a surprise to nobody. Our kingdom is going to be established in righteousness. Mm -hmm. And right. that's what the world is running away from. You're not running away from us. You're running away from righteousness, man. You're running away from judgment because a lot of you people can't help yourself, man. You see these pedophiles, they go in as soon as they come back out, right to pedophilia. Go ahead. Come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hit, hit here in. Hey, that's why in Africa, whenever you hear them judge a, a, a sodomite behavior, Esau gets mad. Because mm -hmm. Esau just said, what do you mean? Punishing lesbians. Like Russia is doing that too. Judge. Go ahead. And all that is therein. Come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. Hey, and that indignation just strictly goes back to the law. Right? These 
broken the law and because they've broken the law there's a comeuppance for that breaking of the law mm -hmm. there's something that has to happen for it because your sins have reached to the clouds something yeah. else needs to reverse all the right. sins go ahead and his fury is upon all their armies that's right and his fury is laying in the in the missile silos mm -hmm. his fury keep seeing because what does it say in the scriptures the curse that go with throughout mm -hmm. all the earth and mm -hmm. what is that curse going to do? It's going to take your eyeballs out of your socket and your tongues out of your mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yep. Or to destroy <clears throat> them, he have delivered them to the slaughter. Which means that it's already done because your sin is already written. So that means your punishment is inevitable. Mm -hmm. If your sin is already there, your punishment is inevitable. Mm -hmm. It's just how it goes, man. It's just... It just takes a while because what does it say? Punishments, punishments against uh, 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 wicked works uh, uh, takes time. <clears throat> Go ahead. Your slain also shall be shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the reason why that's going to happen when you pass by, you're going to be like, "Yep, sinners. Yep, sinners." And it's not going to be like, "Oh, one person." You're going to be like, "Oh, shoot. oh, wiped out." Oh, France is wiped out. Oh, this is wiped out. Oh, yeah, smell. because those are all wicked people. And it's going to mm -hmm. smell, man. And it's going to stink. stink. Hold on, let the brother get this quick. Yeah. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against evil work is not executed speedily. Exactly. Yeah. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully mm -hmm. set in them to do evil. Exactly. That's exactly what it is, man. Right? And that's exactly what happened to our people. Our people are wicked because they never got corrected. Mm -hmm. Our people are about to celebrate Halloween, I mean, Christmas, Christmas, and they're going to celebrate it because they never got corrected when they were young. It was actually promoted. Mm -hmm. right. And because right. it was promoted, it has become a custom. That's, That's right. all that it is. It's just a custom. It's not a belief system. It's a custom. Mm -hmm. It's right. not real. That's it's right. fake. It's, real. it's fugazi. That's right. Worship the Yule. No benefit from it. That feeling that you feel, that Christmas spirit, is actually a spirit of slaughter. It's right. actually a spirit of death. Right. So what you're feeling, that you're telling yourself, oh yeah, I, I gotta get into Christmas spirit. Well, spirit. getting into Christmas spirit means child sacrifice. That's right. It means That's animal right. sacrifice, <clears throat> and it also means orgies. That's there right. was a time of the year where the the the. Um, the ruler switched places with their servants, man. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 34 and 3. Their slain also shall be cast out. Their stink come up out of their carcass. Yeah, which just means that you're going to be buried. Just like you black people. Just like how you are today. When you niggas die, you're buried disrespectfully. Right? Sometimes the police kill you and they leave you on the ground for days. They don't even pick up the body and bury the body. Right? A lot of you people in Ghana by custom or in Africa is a custom where sometimes you keep the body for a month before mm -hmm. a funeral. Two months before a funeral. That's disrespectful, man. Yeah, That's not how, not how burial works according to the law. It's not going to work like that with us. And it still happens in Jamaica. Yeah, that body has to go into the ground right quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because those... Um, those Muslims, like they bury their dead within a like, couple of like yeah, within yeah. Days. less than a day, less than, less a, day. than a day. Yeah, they do. Which is righteous. Right? Of course, yeah, yeah. it is. It said their slain also shall cast up. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcass. Yeah, because remember, right now when the Edomite dies, they have the gun salute to lay the flag down. Mm. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put his name on a building. Mm -hmm. This guy was a righteous guy. He donated tens of millions to St. Michael's. Right. He was a great guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a philanthropist. Mm -hmm. He went to Africa. He did great work in Africa. He was an amazing man. Go ahead. And, their, and the mountain shall be melted. With now when they die, they're going to be cast out. That's right. They're going to be cast out like the garbage that they are. And they're just going to lay there like the garbage that they are. And then when we come back to this planet, whoever those men are, when they come back down, 
they're going to employ you heathens to clean up carcasses. <laughs> you're going to be cleaning up carcasses. That's all dead people that you're going to see because it says the blood shall reach the horse bridle. The, the elect can't stay here. The elect's got to get the fuck out of here. You guys got to do all that work. And that's a part of your hell as well. A part of your hell is dealing with the conditions yeah. of the earth. Yeah. You have to smell the dead body. Ew. You know, they have to Ew. Off, they got Ew. The maggots coming out the skull Ew. and all that the shit. Falls off it, and you know? Ew. Yeah. And they won't yeah. have any tools to, no. to build. No. So they're going to be living like bums, yeah. man. They're going to go back to their kingdom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys are dead. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. They're barely going to... They're barely going to be able to find fresh water. There won't be no fresh water right then and there. Everything's going to be all toxic. <laughs> We're going to, they're going to look all fucked up when we get back. We're going to have to heal them just right? so they can yeah, just put them work. back to work. <laughs> and all the hosts of heaven uh, shall be uh, dissolved, and the and the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. And all their hosts shall fall down. Yeah, and now we know what that heaven be rolled together as a scroll means. It just means a mushroom cloud. It doesn't literally mean that the earth is going to be destroyed and it's going to be rolled together as a scroll. No, the earth is going to be the earth is going to be destroyed in certain yeah, parts. Certain parts mm -hmm. But that be rolled together as a scroll is just the um, it's just the mushroom cloud, and there's going to be many mushrooms, mushroom clouds, many. Mm -hmm. All their hosts shall fall down, and as the least fallen of of the vine. Yeah, Second Ezra verse thirteen puts it puts it even more graphic. What you just read, the the, the spiritual men can see that, but for you people who are not spiritual and you want a clearer view, go and read Second Ezra chapter thirteen, and you're going to see what's going to happen to the hosts. Mm -hmm. Read that part again. All the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. And the host represents armies. So all their armies are going to fall, which is why the brothers say, what are you women going to do? What's going to happen when your protection is gone? That's all your protection. Right. Your protection is the army. Your protection is the military. Your protection is the navy. And, and the Spetsnaz and the, the, the RCMPs and the CSIS and all them, the, the gangsters, the real gangsters, mm -hmm. the real dope dealers. Right. Right. Tell me you're not dope dealers. You've already been exposed, you CIA. You 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 people over there in um, in Israel, you're arm dealers. The, um, the, the Mossad, you Mossad members are arms dealers. Mm -hmm. The fuck? Organ harvesters. You're organ harvesters. Go ahead. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heaven shall be rolled together mm -hmm. as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth up from the vine, and the falling figs from the fig tree. Yeah, that, and it's just representing how much of nothingness that you are to the heavenly Father. It's not like it's going to be a great fight. Go ahead. Yeah. Right. It's, it's not like it's going to be a great fight. Mm -hmm. You won't, there's not going to be any competition for the Heavenly Father. So you're going to fall like a leaf falling off the tree. Mm -hmm. That's how pathetic you are. All your armies, billions and trillions of dollars injected into building this and building that. Mm -hmm. The greatest Air Force, the greatest uh, submarines. Uh, submarines. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean a fucking yeah. thing. That's right. Why it's not? like a leaf. Mm -hmm. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Why? Because they're in rulership. Who's Idumia? Idumia are you so-called white people, right? You Edomites. It's going to be bathed upon you because you're in rulership. Mm -hmm. Just like it was bathed upon the Egyptians, just like it was uh, bathed upon the Persians and whoever else that fell, it's going to be bathed upon you Edomites because you're at the top. So you have to be taken out of power. You Asians don't have to be taken out of power because once the white man's gone, you're gone. That's right. You breathe because of the white man. Mm -hmm. You live because of the white man. Do you think that because you created a fucking Samsung phone that you're Esau? You can never be greater than Esau. You're just a Moabite. Right. You're a wash pot. Right. You can't disrespect our twin brother. Our twin brother's our twin brother for a reason. He's Dennis the Menace. He'll kill every single one of you heathens. If the Most High lets him loose, he will kill you. Kill everything. 
You think you could ever take over from the Edomites? No. Are you fucking crazy? Do you know who an Edomite is, man? Go ahead. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea. Yeah, it didn't say it's going to come down on the Japanese and the Chinese because the Japanese and the Chinese are without the white man. They get everything from the white man. The white man built up the Japanese and the Chinese. That's where all the jobs are. That's all right. the Canadian factories are in China and India. The reason why India is built up is because of the white man. And when the white man decides to pull themselves out of whatever those countries are, they'll be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Right? Just like right now in Mexico. All the factories right now are in South America. All your cars, all your German engineering are built in South America. Oh, my German car. No, motherfucker. Benz is in, <laughs> in South America. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse, mm -hmm. the judgment. For the sword of the Lord is filled with the with blood. It shall be, it shall, it is made fat with the fatness and with the with the blood of the lambs mm -hmm. and goats. And the reason why is because the land needs to be cleansed. That's right. right? That's why all this violence, because right now everybody's just like, damn, what? So you guys are just prophets of doom. Mm -hmm. Nah, we're prophets <laughs> of cleansiness, man. Because this place has to be clean. That's right. It goes back to numbers. The land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed, which is why you Edomites can't rest. You can't rest. Hey, what's going on over there in the Middle East is the same thing that's going on over here in Canada. The reason why you Canadians can't rest is because of the blood. Everybody's always asking, damn, why is there so much mass shootings in America? A lot of them are, are fixed, but there can't be any peace in a land that has bloodshed, man. That's why America's like that. There's always yeah. violence. Right. There's always unrest. There's always unease. And that's the same thing that's going on over there in the Middle East. There could never be ease. That's right. Mm -hmm. To the sword. It said the sword of the Lord is filled with, with blood. It is made fat with the it is made fat with the fatness and with the blood of lambs, right? With Jake, right? Who sold out right? and that's worship in the society. And goats and with the fat of kid, kidneys of rams. For the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. And the and the unicorn shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and the land shall be soaked with their with blood, and their bus made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion. And that's right. And you Christians, you're not gonna be beamed up in the rapture before this happens, but you're gonna experience all of that. You're gonna feel physical pain mm -hmm. in that day, man. Right? You like to act like you're going to escape all of this. Right? You're so good. You're so nice. You know? You're so lucky that you guys say your tongue that you said you're saved by Jesus Christ. You're going to be uh, escape this uh, this uh, bloodbath. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, you can keep speaking after, but Christianity is the same thing like a bunker. Or are you people that are buying buying uh, tickets because you have a lot of people purchasing tickets to go to space and I'm not talking about the elites I'm talking about you regular Edomites that have money the elites you're gonna be safe you're good but right, are you regular right. you have bomb shelters you have pan uh, uh, um, uh, 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 shelters different shit that you saved up all of that is for not all of that is just like the church selling the Christians a, 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 a place that they're gonna be saved the only difference between you is that the Christians are buying a mythical thing, a mythical safe, a place that they're going to be safe, where you're not going to be safe, because like the brother said, you're going to be judged as well, right? Even the men of the Lord are going to go through the, 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 the it's, it's just that we're going to be scarcely be saved, right? So you people are buying tickets for something that you can't buy a ticket for, right? And it's the same thing with you people that have bought, you, you have bomb shelters. You spend all that money on bomb, like, like Khloe Kardashian. The Kardashians have all of that. They're not going to be saved. They're not the elites. They're nobodies, man. That's right. Their little bomb shelters, I don't care how much money they have. Their bomb shelters not going to save them. And even if they do.
do, they're saving that for the brothers who are out there in LA. That's right, that's right. You brothers out there in LA, you're gonna be you're gonna be fucking Kardashians and you're gonna be eating good food. That's right. That's it. That's right. That's right. Yo, yo, because remember Esau has a like caves, right? America and Africa, 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 Africa. That's right. Like yep. all over. That's right. And like they have deep, deep underground oh my God. bunkers. Oh my God. Like, like they have all of our gold, silver. Forget that. Yeah. They have plants. Yeah, they have like actual food, food that grows. Mm -hmm. yeah, good seeds. Good, good seeds. Seed. Yeah. <laughs> they have animals. They have farms down there. Chill Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that they have that. Yeah, because yeah, because they have even on like movie theaters. Oh my gosh, there's nothing. Yeah, they're gonna eat my slides. Pull it slides down there. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, mall, shopping centers. They have shopping centers. They have cars down there. Isa Isa turned those titles from the '60s or '40s into bunkers, right? Exactly. Hey, look, you gotta think about the elites like this. They own countries. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, people still yeah, look at the elites the like, the like e you know, oh yeah, they they're have not, cars. Yeah. Yeah. They own countries. Mm -hmm. They have equipment that's digging out the bottom of Toronto to put in. They, they own that. Mm -hmm. That's their machine. Mm -hmm. That big machine with the big mouth that goes Sun. underneath the ground. And, oh. Yeah, yeah, dig up. Dig up. They have that. I mm -hmm. think they've seen it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Look how they make, look how they, they put the oil tankers out in the ocean. Mm -hmm. You know how deep that shit goes? Yep. They have that. That's mm -hmm. theirs. That's their equipment. That's their That's his blessing, man. That's your fault, man. Yeah, well, I saw them equipment. Remember, that's Isaac Sonny. Yeah. Isaac Sonny. Isaac made sure the planet of the earth is. Yeah. High level, man. What do you mean? High, high level, man. Where's the Esau got that from? Esau, like, yeah. give it some skin for his, for his children. It's on 4911. Right? Learn my Isaac, man. That's right. Esau goes to the car dealership, spent 200 grand on a car. Like, it's nothing, man. 200 grand? Yo, no. I mean, no, I'm just saying, like, you know? We're not even on the same level. Like, it's not even on their level. We'll go no. twice. Yeah. We ain't on the Ezekiel 39, verse 12. And seven months shall the house of Israel be burying of them that they may cleanse the land. Yeah. It's not going to be seven months. It's going to be a long fucking time. A long time. Seven months of completion, you know? Mm -hmm. However long it takes, spiritually. You know? Oh, physically. Yeah, <laughs> Yes, yeah. Definitely both. Both, yeah. Both, spiritually and the yeah, you said, spiritually? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. You're, you're right. doing that, man. You're right. Sometimes you're going to get a break, eh? <laughs> yeah, no rest for the No rest for the wicked. No rest for the wicked. That's the saying in the world. Yeah, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be to them a renowned. The day that I shall be glorified, saith the Lord Power, and they shall sever out men of continual employment. <laughs> With the pastures, those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it after the end of seven months. Hey, and that's, that and that's, hey, that's going to be a company. Those men that you're severing out for continual employment, continual that's a business employment. right there. Yeah. That's a business. That's going to be a business. So you Israelite men, especially the, the elect, that's going to be, they're going to own businesses just like the elite own businesses now. Mm -hmm. Just like a contract. That's going to be a contract. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a city. It's going to be a contract. Hey, I need this much workers. Of course, brother. Here you go. How much do you charge? <laughs> There's a contract. Whoop. How much silver? There you go. Yeah. Right? Esau's going to know what day is he's off as well because he's going to know when the Sabbath is. As soon as the sun goes down, he's going to know, okay, whoop, I'm off. We, we don't have to tell Esau he's off, you can see by the sun. So everything about us is going to be righteous. We, you as an Israelite man can't make him work a minute over that. As soon as the sun goes down, he's done. And he knows that you can't do nothing about it. Yeah, because remember that with like, um, that when we were in, 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 like in 
captivity. Like they uh, like they overworked us, man. Right? And basically, like some of that labor that we're doing, uh, like we were like laboring for like for like a, maybe like a year or two years, and, and then like a lot of them uh, end up dying. That's right. right? From uh, you know, from hard labor. Yeah, that's right. So that's going to happen even worse, like double. After the end of seven months shall they search, and the passengers that pass through the land, when any seeth a man's bone, then shall he set up a sign by it, till the buriers have buried it in the valley of Hamangad. It says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there were no more sea. And I, John, saw the Holy Spirit coming down from the high out of heaven, red as a bride from her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the most high is a man, and he will dwell in all with them, and they shall be his people. The Most High himself shall be them, to be with them, and be their power. The Most High shall tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, no crying, and there shall be any more pain. The right, so. former things are passed away. Hey, and that's the, that's that's called therapy. That's the therapy that we need. Right, because we all need therapy, but our form of therapy is Yah Bashan Al Chai. Right now we have the scriptures which Thank which is us. a comforter, mm -hmm. but we're not healed yet. Mm -hmm. We're still not even healed. Even being in this truth, we're not healed. We're signing and crying. We're still signing and crying. Exactly. Verse 5. Verse 5. Verse 5. And he said, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. And right now, we're judging because the Bible called them future fine source we're just seeing them now now that we, we have some sense we're like oh my gosh i'm disgusting whereas people are disgusting we're just seeing those sores now to where we could actually work on them little by little but we're filthy so it's it's righteousness that yahweh is not even dealing with us because we're not worthy to be in his presence yet that's right that's why we have to be buried onto yahweh and then the elect, that blood is going to purify you so you can be brought back because how we are right now is still filthy, man. Go ahead. That's why you say that. Yes, for the new flesh. It is. Spring. No, no, go to Jamaica, man, in the hot, you know, the hot water, and they scrub you down. Yeah, yeah, cheers, man. Right? They take you to Blue Hole or something. Oh, man. Incorruptible, man. Take it out. To me, it is done. I have Alpha and the Omega, mm -hmm. the beginning and the end. Mm -hmm. I will give for the fountain of the water of life freely. He that uh, he that cometh shall inherit all things, and I will. But the fearful, unbelieving, and the abominable, murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters. Which is the representation of this society. Everything you just mentioned is how this society thrives. Read that read all those things again because that's how this society thrives. That's how you make it in this society. Right? That's who's who's that? That's Oprah. Right? When you go on when you watch when you watch her different shows and they talk about their atheists or they don't believe in God or mm -hmm. there's many ways to the most high. Those are all unbelievers, man. They're unbelievers. Right? That's Bill Gates, that's that's Michelle and Barack Obama, who just produced that new movie that just came out where the um they said that there was an attack on the internet or something like that. The newest movie that just came out on Netflix. 
leaving the world behind. Yeah, that one, watching. exactly. Go ahead. Yeah. It says, uh, and the abominable. And the, the abominable, right? The abominable right now are in are, are ruling. They're the ones that are are we see on TV. Those are abominable. People. Look what the brother just told us. He told us that there was a woman that separate over 900 men mm -hmm. but she, she's a somebody she's probably world famous people oh can i have your autograph mm -hmm. go ahead yeah, murderers. murderers there you go who's bill gates bill gates is a murderer who's the united states they're murderers and every single president as soon as barack obama came into office what did he do he was a, he became a murderer yeah and he, I think that the first day he killed kids. I think it was kids that he killed when he dropped the, um, the drones. Because the drones have never been used so much until he came. Go ahead. What is Hillary Clinton? Hillary Clinton is a murderer. So that means this guy who's in office right now, Biden, is a murderer. Go ahead. And they're whoremongers, right? And that's what this society represents because this is the great whore. That's right. Right? To be a whoremonger means that you're a pimp. Right? So this society is set up in that way. That's why you have people like uh, Meg the Stallion and Sexy Red because they promote whoredom in this society. Mm -hmm. Because that's how they make their money. Right? Look at the clothing that the women wear. Even on Halloween. You ever seen these women on Halloween? Whores! 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 And you guys are free whores. You're not even selling pussy. You're giving the ass up for free. Go ahead. And sorcerers. Mm -hmm. The number one people, as soon as you see them on TV, you know that's a sorcerer. Mm -hmm. As soon as you see them on TV, I don't give a fuck if it's the guy telling you your weather. He's a sorcerer. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says... And idolaters. And idolaters. And that's what they teach our people, how to uh, idolize people. Oh my gosh, Drake is coming to town. Did you yes. guys get your tickets yet? Yes. Oh, mm. Beyonce is coming. Here, girls, I'm going to have to sell my pussy to get Beyonce tickets. That's what they said. I'm mm. not saying they said that. Pussy to get Beyonce tickets. That's an idol. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Go ahead. Exactly. I call liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth fire and brimstone, which the second death. Even lies is a strong foundation in this world, man. That's, that's right. how they that's how they are able to perpetuate their agendas, man. Mm -hmm. Two lies. lies. And then they, it, as the leader, so is the people, man. Mm -hmm. People just lying. It's bullshit. No, it's the land. Nobody can keep uh Nobody's genuine, man. No, nobody's genuine here. You can't trust these people. That's right. Hitting the agenda's ulterior motives, trying mm -hmm. to get one up on you, right? Cut ropes. That's why you're going to be part of the taking part of the link of power, man. Or you might get hit with hit up with a laser, man. Or up close and personal with Yao Shai, man. With his sword, right? Hey, but that's why they came out with the TV show Squid Games. When they come out with these TV shows, they're just showing you how you have to be. They want you to be like that. They're programming you to be distrustful. They're programming you to be that way. They want you to be distrustful of, of men, of women, of children. They want that because they understand that our power lies in sticking together, man. But when you're distrustful, it's weakness, man. Mm -hmm. Right? You as a man, you should just read everybody like they're just a creature. Mm -hmm. That's all that they are. You just understand everybody's nature. I understand a woman's nature. There's nothing wrong about her. Mm -hmm. the, I understand you women are whores in this society because you're given freedom and liberty. That's right. The scripture says not to give a woman freedom and liberty. So now we understand what happens when you give a woman freedom and liberty. That's all that we're witnessing. You're just witnessing the nature of a thing. So it doesn't really matter. You're looking at these young boys. You're saying, oh, they're monsters. They're monsters because of there's no fathers in the home. They're monsters because they're not serving Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. So now you understand, oh, that's why you're like that. You're like that for a reason, right? Go ahead. Was that it? Hebrews chapter 8, verse 7. For if that first covenant had been faultless, 
Then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he says, Behold, the days come. Says now, what, the Lord. Did, what did he find fault with? Because when it says them, it's just talking about what Paul was talking about in Romans, I think that's seven. All of Romans seven, Paul was just talking about the flesh. It's just how we the flesh is. So the covenant was with us, the first covenant, which left it up to us to sacrifice turtle doves and to be honest and to be righteous. You can't leave men to just be that way. Innately, humans are not good, just innately. If you leave humans to just be humans, one person is gonna try to get above the other person. And one person is gonna try to keep down the other person. All right, go ahead. instructions the basic instructions to keep the law that's why we were given the sacrificial system because the sacrificial system was set up for remission of sins so that animal that you put on the altar was really really that represented you because you were actually supposed to die that's right but we took it for granted because we were so weak that's so what right. we would do is we would premeditate things before we would sin we would prepare the sin offering and then go about our business and do wickedness and then come back and ask the lord oh please forgive me please forgive me but that's not how you're supposed to do that that the law and that sacrificial system was put in place for you to do that, right? So, yeah, uh, verse 8, for finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, but I will make a new covenant with the house of Yahshua Allah, with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, Lord. because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a So the Mosa is going to do to us what Esau is trying to do to us, right? Because there is something in every human being which is you're able to be programmed. Every human is programmable. Every single human is programmable, right? But most of us are usually programmed by our environment, starting with your mother, and starting a, a, a community. Like it says, my circumstances made me who I am. It just means that you're what you see. You're a product of your environment because of what you see. That's your programming. You're programmed by what? By degenerate behavior. You're programmed by a, a lack of discipline. You're programmed by drugs, right? And what else, uh, everything else that you see. He wants to wrap up? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, finish okay. up, finish up. Finish write up. them into their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people, and they shall not teach every neighbor, every man his neighbor, and hey, every which man is his still, mother. Which is still righteous on the Most High's behalf that we got to experience, quote unquote, free will. There's no such thing, but the fact that we got to experience that now we understand why it's just better to just need him for everything. Yeah, just program us and done. Thank you. <laughs> Saying, know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest, for I'll be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their iniquities will I remember no more. And that he saith, the first old, now that which Now we're going to close up and give all glory, praises, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, and Rakadash. All right, we're going to say Ashalawam, Ashalawam, Yashrala, Yashrala, Abad Babal.